that or number kids say, I'm coming after just that one weekend? Yeah, no, it's great. You know, and you guys know it's all leading up to that point, all the work that you do, you know, since we got here with some of these kids. And um, so it was, it was really good. Uh, you know, anytime we're able to get these guys on campus, we feel good about our chances of getting them just because they get around us as people, see what this program's about, see what Columbia's about, see what our university's about. Uh, and that was exactly what happened this weekend. Had a great time, had some great players in this weekend. Had some additional momentum that, you know, started on Sunday and will continue. We got another weekend coming up next weekend as well that'll be uh, really big as well. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the um, – uh, the fireworks are just getting started for the month of June. Is is recruiting momentum a real thing? Like, or is that? No, I think so. I think it's uh, certainly when you're because so much of it is on social media nowadays. I think when when a school's having success or prospects are visiting your campus and then they're talking about it on social media, I think other prospects can't help but but notice, you know, and and. Um, um, and we've got somebody that's on campus here in the next couple of days that I don't think initially was planning on coming, but one of his teammates came and visited us and was blown away by it and told him about it. Now he's coming to visit. And um, uh, so certainly I think so. Word of mouth and, and anytime anybody has a good experience somewhere, I think other people are certainly become intrigued by that. We're talking season, Shane, and there'll be a ton of these, but the predictions are already starting to come out. You pay any attention to like Athlon, they have a bunch of guys. Pretty season, it's exciting, but they also put out order of finish. Do you yeah. pay any attention to that at all? I'd be lying if I said I didn't peek at it. You know, I mean, I've always read those preseason magazines and things like that, so I, I didn't stop. I don't put a lot of whole, a whole put a whole lot of stock in it. You know, I like uh, being able to see where people think us as think of us as well, and um, you know, it's always fun when people are making their bowl projections and all that in the middle of the summertime just to see stuff and, and, and whatnot. But no, I'm I'm a college football fan, so I I look into I look at it just as a fan. But as far as my day to day and this program. No, they can pick us first. They can pick us seventh in our division. It's not going to make any difference to me. Lobbyists for our media day votes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got that the other day. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, pick us last. That helps you <laughs> with the uh, motivation with our players. I, guess, I, guess, yeah, I don't know how much time you've gotten to spend around the players. I know you get to do a little bit in the summer, but are there a couple guys that maybe caught your eye now that you've been able to kind of see some of them move and, and work out a little bit? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, I think a lot of guys, I, I, I look at it more as the guys that were here in the spring, seeing how they've kind of maybe taken some steps. You know, I think Spencer's taking another step as a leader. Um, you know, I think, um, uh, you know, Marion Brown is somebody that had a really good spring and has continued to do that. Um, you know, defensively, all those guys um, that have been here, now they just continue to get more and more comfortable. So certainly there's some young guys that have caught our eyes, but I'm not going to name any names or anoint anybody before we've even put on pads and, and practiced. Um, but I do – it's not too big for them, the freshmen and the, and the transfers that we brought in that, that were here, Stallinger and Corey Rucker. You know, they weren't here in spring practice. They're here now. Nobody do we look at and think, oh, my God, they're overwhelmed by everything, including the freshmen. They've come in and, and, uh, and, and, and done a great job. So, yeah. With, with the calendar, Shane, uh, you guys know the first day of practice, preseason practice? Yeah, it'll be August, uh, whatever that first Friday is in August, David. Um, what is that? I guess the 6th, uh, the 5th. 5th, okay. Friday, August 5th will be the first practice. Yep. Yes, first game is September 3rd? Yes, yes. It's not right. I guess this is kind of the first time we've maybe gotten to talk to you since Corey Rucker and Nate Atkins both got on campus. Mm -hmm. What did you like from them? in the recruitment process and kind of what have you seen from them so far? Uh, they've got experience. Corey's obviously younger than, than Nate, but they both produced, you know, uh, and had a really productive careers or seasons wherever they were like that. I mean, Corey's a guy that um, – uh, it's very, he's very—he's—he's young, but he's very mature, smart young man. Nate, just a guy that's played a lot of football. You know, is a good, good weapon in the passing game, but is a uh, is a strong blocking presence in the run game that stood out to us as well. Any potential? Are you guys looking to add to your roster before training camp starts, or is it kind of what it is right now? It kind of is what it is right now. We're uh, we're set. Got all the freshmen there and in place, and, and we're full speed ahead. So 2022. 2022 football team is 
Ready to go? They're in Colombia. <laughs> getting ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Y'all good?